Doc Beach here with Applied Ballistics, and today I'm going to show you how to pair your Leica Rangemaster 2800.com to a Kestrel Elite. So the Leica Rangemaster 2800.com has two modes inside of it essentially as far as ballistics are concerned. It's got its own built-in tables, but it also has a Bluetooth mode, LA+, which allows it to send information over to uh, other external devices. In this demonstration, we'll be doing the uh, Kestrel 5700 Elite with applied ballistics. The information that it sends over is the direction of fire, the range, and the inclination to the target. It feeds that to the Kestrel, which then provides a firing solution, and that firing solution is displayed on the Kestrel display and inside of the range finder. It gives you your elevation, windage, holdover. Um, it also has a scan mode. We're not gonna really go into that though today. So I'm gonna show you how to pair these two devices together. It's simple enough that you can almost do it without even looking inside of the rangefinder here. Now on the rangefinder we have two buttons. Um, we have our secondary button and our primary button. Um, for the purposes of this video and simplicity, I'm just gonna to refer to them as the red button and the main button. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and we'll start with the Kestrel itself. So We'll power on the Kestrel here, and you want to make sure that you're on firmware 1.23 or newer. When it first starts up, it'll say version number. Just make sure you have 1.23 or a newer version. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and adjust our Bluetooth settings. So we'll hit the settings button right here. We'll hit the down arrow to scroll down to Bluetooth, and you can see here it's turned off. We'll go ahead and we'll turn that on, and then by hitting the right D-pad or left, it doesn't matter. Then we're going to hit enter. There we go. And you can see here that it's in PC mobile mode. Well, when we're connecting to external devices, we want this in device mode. So we'll go ahead and we'll just tap the, the D-pad here, the right arrow, and you can see now it's in device mode. Bluetooth is turned on, the Kestrel's in the correct mode, and we have our proper firmware. So those checks are done and we're done with the Kestrel for now. Now the Leica, the 2800.com, needs to be in Bluetooth mode LAT. So when you cycle through the menu here, it's gonna have three Bluetooth options. Off, APP for connecting to the uh, Leica hunting app, or LAT, which is the mode that we're gonna want. Now to get this into the proper mode, it's actually really simple. So to first power it on, we press uh, the red button, I'm gonna give it just a second here to power on. When you first power it on, you'll see the Bluetooth symbol inside rapidly flashing in the internal display. We're gonna hold the secondary button and that's gonna bring up the menus. The first menu is gonna be units. We don't want that, so we'll tap it one more time and then we're gonna be uh, on the Bluetooth selection. It'll say BT. So then we're gonna tap the primary button to enter that menu. Let's see which version it's on here real quick. So right now it's off. So we continue tapping the primary button until it says LAT. It'll say off, APP, or LAT. Once we're on the correct mode, uh, then we tap the secondary button, the red button, to lock it in. Now, that's gonna, that's gonna lock in our selection with this. And we're, we're pretty much done with the rangefinder at that point. We need to go back to the Kestrel. So with the Leica on and in the correct Bluetooth mode, uh, what we're gonna then do on the Kestrel is we're gonna scroll down to where it says name and we're gonna hit enter and you can see it's searching. Then we're gonna make sure that our rangefinder here is turned on, which it's not, it went to sleep. So now the rangefinder's turned on and in the proper mode and you can see it shows up right here on the Kestrel. We hit enter when it pops up there and it's highlighted. Okay, so now it's selected and we're done. I can hit the settings button to go back. You can see here that it's listed and it says status is connected. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll turn it off by simply tapping the secondary button. It shuts off after it tells you what the pressure, temperature, and angle is. And then you'll see it'll disconnect. And I'll show you how quickly it'll reconnect here. So to turn it back on, we'll just hit the secondary button that should start it back up and you can see that the devices are connected. I could have done it with the primary button too, it doesn't really matter, I just didn't want to laser any targets indoors. Um, and that's it, that's how simple it is to pair these two devices together. Once they're paired and connected, they will always reconnect to each other as long as you don't change the mode in the Kestrel. And the Leica will send the direction of fire, 
the range to the target and the inclination to the target to the Kestrel and the firing solution will then be displayed both inside of the rangemaster2800.com and inside the Kestrel. Um, one last time, the way that you get the Leica into the correct mode is you power it on by hitting this button inside the display once you see it's powered on and the Bluetooth light is flashing. You then hold down the secondary button until it goes into the menu. You then tap the secondary button to cycle through different menu options. When you see BT for the Bluetooth menu, you select it by hitting the primary button. Once you're inside that menu, you then cycle through those menu options by tapping the primary button as it cycles through the options. Once you are at LAT, the correct mode to use with a Kestrel 5700 Elite, then you would tap the secondary button to lock that selection in and the Leica is now in the correct mode and you don't need to do anything else with it. So if you have any questions, as always, just let us know. Um, but that's a, basically a quick overview on how to get these two devices talking as well as what kind of information they can send back and forth.